Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how we do the physics project with the tracker. So first I'm gonna tell you how to install the tracker and then I'm gonna show you how to use it to do the physics project. First um, we research for tracker. Then we look for the real the real page, the correct page. So this is the correct page. You can see. It. Make sure you when you want to install it, you open up this page. Okay. Then if you use uh, Windows, you install it for Windows. And if you use Mac, you install the Mac. Okay. Uh, we wait till it finish loading. Okay, we wait for it to finish loading, and then just drag it, drag it to the desktop for for it will ease us to use it. And click, click on it. Okay, you can see it start to open. Then we just um agree with everything the the tracker said. Next, then we click on videos and experiment. The next, 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 and all. Wait for it to install, and it will install. It it comes with Zagel because it will be our video player. Okay, we view the installation log. And then yes, this shows that we have completed our installation. Let's click OK. Okay, then I'm gonna show you how to use the tracker. So it's not it's not as hard as we think it is because it 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 really makes our job easy wait for it to install okay eh, sorry wait for it to load okay first we choose our video and then we just drag it into the tracker or we can choose it by pressing the file and choosing our file yes i choose my video and we get, we have to use zagal because uh zagal is the only uh, player that is compatible with the tracker So this is our video. First, we have to choose click new and then click the calibration stick. We have to calibrate it. And there, we type our our height and we we pull the calibration stick, make it 90 degree with the x axis. So it must be parallel to the y axis. See, we, we have to make it literally right angle with the x-axis and then we type the height so our height is 1.8 meter and then we choose um, our our frame we start our frame with the ninth frame
or can look at the video first and you have to choose where to begin our motion and where to end our motion since the, the video is longer than the motion is so we can adjust the length of our motion We can ch choose where to start our frame. So we choose to start with you can adjust it with the buttons on the right. You can pull the calibration stick. We can choose the frame start, the start frame and the end frame from the clip setting. Choose from frame 9 to frame 24. Then we choose create and click on point mass. So we name the mass um, to make it easier for us to do our work next. I name it Lipton. Then we set our trail length so we choose no trail because in this video you can see in the first part that there is no trail and we, we do it manually so uh, we do not do auto tracker we do it manual tracker so we have to do it part by part frame by frame so that we can track our move the movement of our object So, search next. We we only have to click search next if our um if our motion is um uh, if our motion matches. Just click search next, and if if it does not match our movement, we have to click again at the mass point. Switch next and accept. We can accept it if there is just a little difference because the data won't change a lot. So all 24 frames have finished. We can close it and we can look at the graphs. So this is our graph. We can change our X to K for kinetic. You can see the kinetic energy. It increases as our object goes down and T is for time. Click define to see uh, more data functions so we can do a lot, we can see a lot more data. Click on the function name and we want to see the um, gravitational potential energy. So we type GPE and the expression for GPE is a mass times acceleration for y axis and um, the displacement. So we're going to pick y, add, and we want to see another another one the total mechanical energy, we use TME, and its expression is kinetic energy plus gravitational potential energy. Now we can look at the graphs. This is the we can choose okay gravitational potential energy graph with the movement. Uh, next is the total kinetic energy. Okay, we can choose, you can see, we can choose any any kind of graph that we want.
Yes, you can see there are three graphs and we just synchronize it. So we get three graphs. This is our result. Yes, you can see a graph for kinetic energy, graph for displacement. You see a movement, the movement of 